Here we are. Coming back up. There we go. Now we're back. Now, the question is, where is that last tune, challenge tune? Into a campfire, which I'm really worried about. Okay. Where's the last tomb? Okay, hold on. This will be a way to find out. If I look at the different sections, it'll tell me. Tombs there were. So there was two there. There was two there. Oh no, wait, that's. Hold on. That's crit. Yeah, that's crit. That's not tombs. It doesn't tell me how many tombs are there because that would be good. Oh, yeah, it does. Three or three, or three. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, two of two, one of one, three of three. One of two. What is this? Oh, is this the mission? Oh, there's the other two. Okay. So let's go to Base Camp Ruined Tower. And once we finish these two teams, we're going to go ahead and hit the final part of the story, I guess. It's up here. Sorry. This can't be in time. This way. 
Okay, we're going this way. Maybe? Nope. Other side of the other side. Yeah, over here. And I think this is where the Empress Jaguar is, so we need to be careful. This calls for incendiary shotgun rounds, personally. I see you. Come on. Come Whoa! What the heck was that? Why are you sliding around like that? incendiary shotgun rounds did the trick. I mean, we could mess around with bows and stuff, but why risk death? You don't want to, you don't want to cut it open? Come on, Laura. Skin that beast! Alright, here's our last challenge to St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles to die, and the only one whose life didn't end in martyrdom or suicide. As a writer of five books of the New Testament, he's the patron saint of theologians and scholars. Because of his long life, he was able to take on several students who continued his teachings after he died, establishing a line of religious study that remains unbroken to this day. Now we'll see. I kept getting close to building the campfire. I was like, oh wait, there's something else. Oh wait, there's something else. Rumors have long persisted of monsters, for lack of a better term, in the area surrounding the mission of St. John. The locals refuse to discuss these sightings, they grow sullen when they are mentioned and usually scurry off and hide in their homes. However, it is my fervent belief, once we have converted the populace, they will see these monsters as nothing but superstitions, shadows that disappear in the Lord's light. Here. Nope. On we go. There's explorers. Backpack, I think it's called this time.
Got the traps, Laura. Oh, come on. Stop it. These are two legendary trees which complement one another. The Chachin tree secretes a substance which is poisonous upon contact, and the nectar of the Chaka tree can neutralize that poison before it results in serious burns. The fascinating thing about these trees is that they always grow very near to each other. According to legend, two brothers, warrior princes, fought a battle to the death over the love of a woman and died in each other's arms. They begged the gods for forgiveness, and it was granted. Kinich, the kind one, was reborn as a benevolent Chaka tree, while Tizik, the hate-filled one, was reborn as the poisonous Chechen tree. I did this, kid. That's odd. Seems like that's odd, anyway. Two skill points. Uh oh. I just saw one of the bad that the monster thingies run across that limb up there. Sounds like trouble. Yes, it does. Shoot a flame arrow to. Ugh, smells like rotten eggs. Sulfur. Look that. And then quickly climb up it, I'm assuming. Might help to use my climbing axes. Okay. Just fairly straightforward. Sheila here as well. Mm-hmm. You noticed that too, huh, Laura?
Absolutely certain that I have what I need for fire arrows. Let's just go ahead and craft some more. So I don't have to craft them between every single tent. Be going that way. I feel like I'm about to get ambushed. You know what I mean, chat? of life, also known as Yoshe, plants its roots in the underworld and then passes through our world as its branches extend all the way into paradise. Lurking somewhere inside the world tree is its Samye, a bird god who is said to know all the secrets of the three planes of existence through which the world tree grows. Goodness. Look at my face. I knew the ambush was coming eventually. Okay. Let's jump back in here. Still here. Oh, did I not loot those guys? Let's loot these guys. what we do is we blow that up, it blows this up here, and then we can jump across. Like so. Shit! Well, let's not fall down that.
from its roots in the underworld, sheltering bats, it grows straight and true. Its trunk holds the realm of men fast, and its branches spread its white leaves across the night sky. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. This seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. This guy kind of Ah. Interesting. Okay, so jump out of here. Go ahead and swim back over here. It's not far now, just have to get up there. I don't think I want to do that right at the moment. Okay, I think I just blow this up to let me jump across. Oh, what was that? some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. It's like the third one of those we found. <laughs> One second.
Raised it up, but not by very much. That was like something I could turn it with. doesn't raise that one hardly at all. Get back up. Anymore. There doesn't really seem to be anything down here, though. 